Hey guys, Google on my back. I'm Eric. I'm Rick. Shane. Eric. And we are back with Attack on Titan, where the last time we learned all about the Attack Titan. Yes. Without on. That, no on. That's true. Although it is the same in Japanese. Mm hmm. What? Like the name of the show is the same as what the Titan is called. Yeah, the people, Attack Titan. Yeah, people were saying, oh, you, you missed that in the subs. Like, I wouldn't have. You don't understand <laughs> Japanese anyway. <laughs> <laughs> we learned a little bit more about. Um, as Rick said, the Attack Titan uh, and the Curse of Ymir, which is if you hold a Titan power for 13 years, you die? Dead! Dead. Which means No, it's that like when you get the power, you will die in 13 years. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unless you die before, of course, but Aaron has eight get left. Eaten. And, yeah, there's no other way that we know of to give it away other than to be eaten. Yes, well, you can die naturally, or unnaturally, or however mm -hmm. it is. Sure. And then a baby will be born with the power. Yeah. Which I guess you can't give it that way, but it's, it's passed on. <laughs> yeah, but you can give away the, the Secret royal secrets. blood oh. magic by touching a titan and using that power at the same time, right? That's what Aaron can do, at least. So well, that can be given away a little yeah, bit. Yeah, the, the speculation on that is, is it a royal blood titan that you have to touch, or is it mm. royal blood that you have to touch? So we saw him touch the smiling titan, which was a royal Which was blood. a daughter of, yeah. So we don't have any information on that. Hmm. We learned a lot about the coordinate and how it works exactly, how memories, paths that transcend through time and space. Yep. Which that was the big That was the big thing. Yeah. They reach back. They're like, protect Mikasa and yeah. Armin. And it's like, wait, what? And then yeah, also, that the, was story, the, past, yeah. the story had like a flash of like information by touching the writing, which maybe yeah. had like Ymir's blood in it or something. I don't know. And the ink. Well, Rick speculated, right? I wish you had said Erwin. I speculated the ink, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, what's going to happen now? Uh, the Beast Titan and them are still out there. Survived. We're gonna fight them now? We'll have to find out. And you guys can find out with us, or you already found out, I don't know. Oh, the reaction, down in the description, go down there, you guys can watch the reaction, come back here for the discussion, it's over on our website, just watch it, click the link down there. And hopefully more of the cart Titan. No. We'll see more of this. Ah, okay. Damn. Well worked. Who ends the 22 episodes? Nobody. 26. <laughs> or 24. I love that shit. 22, 23 is the average for a, like a season length, isn't it? Most of them end at 23, yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess my anime anime goes a little bit longer. Sometimes I only do seasons, you know? Sometimes but this was like the, a half and half, so. With the last two episodes we've had and the, the info dump we've gotten, and this is just kind of like a, all right, what next episode? The calm which, before the storm. I mean, literally the calm. They took a moment to breathe that so many TV shows, anime, movies, whatever, don't take. They deserve it. I know. Like, and it was <laughs> silent. It wasn't music. There wasn't wind. There was nothing. It was just, oh, the sea, you know? What a great moment that was. It's like season one, episode one. The only thing Aaron wanted to do was kill all the Titans. Yeah. And now he's done it. Yeah. He's done it. They're all dead. Yeah. Uh, except, except that one. Except that one. Yeah. Except know. that one. But now it's like it's just begun. Is Connie's mom, did they ever kill it? I guess. I might still be there. I don't know. I would have killed it without thinking. Thinking it was a mercy. We also know now that, like, every one of them is an actual person. True. And that they were all patriots and they're people that are being... This is their punishment for being... Yeah. Low to their cause. Yeah, so it's like you're, you're killing your, your own, you know? Yeah, but then are, you, are you putting them out of their misery? I don't know. Depends like, you are if they can't be turned back. Depends if there's a way to turn them back, Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's, there's, and there now, currently isn't, there's and no if there way never that, is, would it be a... Uh, well, yeah, but there's there's no way to turn him back now, but we also didn't know in the beginning that there was a way to turn into a Titan. True. You know? yeah, so, like, no. Well, also, he, Aaron wants them, because theoretically he can command them. Yeah. But up, up until that point, they killed them all, right? As many as they can. Sometimes they would just leave them. They would just leave because, you know, it's so dangerous to try to kill them. That one didn't pose any danger, it didn't look like. It's like a... It's, I mean, it's a conventional zombie question, like, you know... We assume that all the zombies are dead, but what if one day there is a cure to, to cure these things? Well, all the ones that I've killed since, I feel bad now for. But yeah. does that justify me, or does it not justify me killing them in the moment if I didn't know that the cure existed? But now, ideally, they just round them all up so that Aaron can command them later whenever army. they need to yeah. attack. Yeah, but that may not work unless he has royal blood, you know, in, in, a, in a tight form <laughs> yeah. or whatever. It, it, so far, that's what we've been presented is that it has to be in a titan form we've talked about like can he do it with it not being a titan form just royal blood he saw visions just by touching royal blood 
but can he do more just touching royal blood, or does it have to be in a titan form? I mean, I, I'm only going to say it has to be right now just because of the kind of, like, potential drama they set up, like, Historia versus I mean, the cost. You I know? would say just because of the presentation that we've yeah. been given. That's what I was saying. Yeah. But could there be more to it? Because she's not a Titan, but she's been getting visions or been giving visions. Sure. Is there something more about the blood rather than the Titan yeah. power? I don't know. If she's injected and eats like the Beast Titan, how does that work? She, she would just the beast have the Beast Titan power, but she wouldn't have the coordinates, though. And she wouldn't have the will of the king? Probably not. She probably I mean, wouldn't have the bill of the king. I mean, she wouldn't be able to fully use the coordinate. But could they then touch the beast, the new beast yeah. titan, and use the coordinate? Mm-hmm. I said your answer is already in Zeke's royal blood. So like, he doesn't have anything special with like coordinate powers or anything like that. Being the beast titan, but well, he was able to command them though. He, yeah, he did command them. Well, loosely, but he he, he was able to. Though there was the one that like didn't really hear him. Yeah, and he popped his head like a zit. But he wasn't able, or he doesn't seem to have the king's will in him. But he did turn. I'm trying to think about like the the surprise attack when they all showed up, like what method occurred to make all these titans show up? Yeah. But he, but you're right. He was able to like, he sent in the little guys, but then he yeah. still left the big guys around on the outside. Mm-hmm. They didn't just start not listening and slumbering in. So. Yeah. Maybe there is a bit of, like, having royal blood that lets them listen to you in a sense, but maybe there's something about the founding titan's powers that lets you fully control or something. Yeah, I mean, Aaron, whenever he did it, they had, like, their eyes turned red, and it seemed like he had complete control. Just his will, they would follow, you know? Right. Not even commands. Yeah, like, the beast titan them. was telling them to do stuff uh, when we first saw him attack the castle. So, yeah, so maybe there's something within that. Because, yeah, he made them attack the... Uh, the churchy tower fortress thing they had mm-hmm. and he made them stop attacking the one dude and he made them all appear and they all stood except yeah. for the ones that he told to attack so yeah. he does seem to have some sort of control mm-hmm. in yeah. some way but is that a beast titan power thing or is that the royal blood power thing or is there a mix of the two or yeah. and yeah how did he turn all those people on the wall and then like how did he do like, it why was, there, village? why was there none and then all of a sudden they were there yeah, like, were there just a bunch of prisoners, like, Mad Max style, on the front lines, and then they just injected them? Yeah, because we've only seen two ways of people being turned into Titans. You're either, like, Aaron or Reiner or something like that, where you just turn into a special Titan, or you're injected, and then you're turned into a Titan. But I doubt that he went and, like, ran real quick, like, you know, and injected everybody and turned them into a Titan. Unless they had a bunch of, like, troops from... Wherever. Or he has some kind of like, like police system, where he like <laughs> pulls a line. And they all go at the yeah. same time. I mean, if you're looking at like Zeke <laughs> as being uh, an Eldian who's loyal to the other side, you have a bunch of Eldians that are loyal to that side, but they Marley, yeah, yeah, Marley. they aren't getting like special powered Titan powers. They're just becoming Titans. Yeah. So then they inject themselves to help the cause. Uh, or whatever. Maybe. And then that's how you get that. That doesn't explain the Connie's village part, because I doubt that that would work out that way. But then it's still a matter of, like, how does he control them? It's an interesting way of doing it. No. I wonder who would win. I mean, the Eldians, like, you know, this world that we've seen, like, the years of strife have made them develop technology to kill Titans. It's made them, like, it's almost like a warrior race, in a sense, you know what I mean? And, but the other side has more advanced technology. Much more advanced. And they probably don't, yeah, but I don't... I don't know. They have aircraft. I yeah. mean, you know, what are the Titans going to do against aircraft? They have aircrafts, they have weapons, and they have rocks. over twice as many Titans that can attack back, right? Yeah, and presumably much more people. Yeah. They've had a lot more land. Just more soldiers that are better equipped. Well, sometimes, yeah. That's what I'm saying, you know, historically, I, don't, I just don't know who, you know. As far as, like, fighting people to people, like, the scouts have swords, or they have thunder spears. You know, they don't have, like... They have rifles. They have the Kenny, like, pistols yeah. that they could use. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, they're just outgunned and outmanned. And they would be fighting on the Marlians' homeland. Yeah, I well. mean, that is a, one thing, you know? Like, normally when they don't have the technological advantage, the people that have been able to fight back against a superior... On their own land do better. It, like it, Vietnam, it, yeah. kind of, you know? Um, even the Revolutionary War, you know. Or the Winter War with Russia. I feel, I don't know about you guys, but like, 
their island, it seems like it's huge, right? Like it's its own little. It's like Australia. It's like a continent. It's like or a Australia, country. almost. Maybe not a continent, but it's very at least like the size of a medium country. Like they were talking about how you know we're not free and we need to strive for freedom. That's what the attack that the attack titan does. It fights for freedom. But I feel like if I was in a situation. I'd be like, I got this whole goddamn island. Like I'm free. You know, you want to come here and take what I have now? Try it. I don't know if I cross an ocean where I don't know. It's like the Revolutionary and War. Trying to free myself there. You yeah, know? free myself where I've never <laughs> yeah. been. But I understand it's this like it's this especially with all these memories that Aaron has, and it's it's about like we it's, were put here. You know, and, and subjugated it's and, a thousand year and struggle. all this stuff. But also, kind of, like, this king went here and said, no more, you know? Yeah. Well, yeah, and if Aaron like, dies with the power and it just goes right to some random person, too, it might not be good. That might not be great, yeah. yeah. The thing, too, is, like... It's all for oil! You need, <laughs> it's crazy! <laughs> I get that all! Like, they don't have boats. If they do get in a boat, how are they going to get to where they're going? Do they know how to get... West or yeah. east, you know, whatever direction you want to go. I mean, Grisha might have left directions, like maps. I mean, I mean, the map-wise, we know that west is where the mainland yeah. is, but do they know how to sail a boat and well, follow knights and stars? They, you know, I think boat, how far is it? They did have a boat, uh, like in the, the river, the river when they were trying to evacuate. Yeah, it, was like a, evacuate. It, was, it, was, it wasn't like tied to a rope. <laughs> well, right? No, was, I, I don't know. I figured they have that at least. And the river goes that way and that way. They would figure two, out. Boats. You choose two directions. Like they, they, I they, mean, they they create ODM gear. Surely they can figure out paddle boats. Well, so that's the thing. Probably, like, because civilizations much less advanced than this did. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not worried about them creating boats. Yeah, that's not what I'm concerned with. Mine is navigating the sea. Yeah, to people that have only lived on an island and don't know anything about seas. You know, I mean, well, the, the Polynesians did it. So Hawaii. The scouts know how to use the stars to navigate, canoes. right? Like they they know where home is, they know where north is. I'm sure. Have they done that with them? Well, I just say. I mean, like, I have to it assume seems like they basic do that. like scouting yeah. thing. But yeah. they might not even have to, because like they said, they're getting invaded in the near future anyway. It's not even that far away either. Like, when we look at the map, like, it's not like it's a wide well, sea. Yeah, I wonder if Aaron might have enough information to to be able to, know, you know, find it, find his way there. Yeah. Help everyone find a I way I mean, it's, it's, it's literally that way. And you're there. Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. And you sail in the sea, say it takes two days to get there. You got two yeah. nights you got to sail through, or two days. Tell you what, I wouldn't send Flock. Fucking Tom Hanks did that <laughs> shit. You know what I mean? I send someone else. Well, you know? who do they send, though? Because they're going to have to send, like, a scouting force. Uh, the, first, I yeah. assume, and y you don't want to send the coordinate because that's yeah. what they're all after. You don't want to send well, Armin because he's the colossal titan. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I mean, he's, he's the biggest player in terms of power. I would start setting up, I don't know, defenses, but you know, between you know, between uh, like the beach and Walmaria. That's what I, honestly, that's what would be, that'd be my thing. Like, I'm like, all right, maybe in like a hundred years we'll go figure that out. But right now, let's focus on. Walls around this fucking place, and what yeah, do walls you know, do against like, aircraft, though. I don't know. I mean, if, you, if you know they have, I mean, throw fucking rocks with the colossal titan. Do that. <laughs> it depends. I mean, they haven't came this way with aircrafts before yet. Maybe I mean, we have aircrafts the... against King Kong and work out super well. I mean, it eventually it did, but yeah, they maybe did. not for a while. <laughs> maybe they don't have the means of bringing it across the sea to the island for the aircraft. You know, they're like yeah. blimps, so they don't move the fastest depending on how yeah. fuel is. Like maybe they can't. Make it that far. I don't know. I mean, they have biplanes, at least in this little thing we saw at the end of this episode. Yeah, and that was years ago. I'm interested, like, what their technology is now. Yeah. Like, yeah, we don't know how advanced it is. I imagine that's going to be some but kind maybe of there's a reason they've never flown over yeah. here. I mean, what if you fly over here and you turn into a Titan, that fucking lightning bolt just <laughs> destroys a blimp. Sure. That'd be great. <laughs> I do that. I'm, ah, it blows just up, just blowing him up. Aaron rip, rip out Armin, ah, and then just do it again. The over there. Just, you know. I mean, they have, you know, like... Cannons and I mean, surely they can figure out a way to do like anti aircraft, you know? You mean, I like exploding rounds that explode in the air? Maybe. I mean, it's been people, I mean, people, it depends how high they were. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but if they're super high, they might not be able to do anything. You have to be effective, you have to go low. You know? Some of this depends too on what Aaron. Hopefully, they dropped an atom, an atom bomb though. <laughs> well, then their oil might be fucked. Some of this depends on what uh, Aaron tells them as well. Like, we saw the past and whatnot. I don't know what all that they know, uh, like, the, yeah, like the scouts sure. and stuff, you know? What all was in the books, what information they actually have of what they do have, yeah. and how old it is to what they really, really mm -hmm. have, you know? Yeah. Like, if you're just looking at what Grisha had 50 years ago or whatever well, it was, sure. you know? It would be like 13 years, right? If he had the Titan power, he'd be dead. So it could only be a maximum of 13 years. From when he got the Titan power to when he died, that has to be at least... 
Or at most. 13. At most. 13. At most. 13 years You're right. From that point. Yeah. I never thought about that. So I mean that, but that's unless he, no, no, that no. 13 years starts there on the island. So I mean, he saw a little bit beforehand. Yeah. And well, we saw yeah. most of that area was all when he was a kid. We also never saw when he got that power either, right? We never saw him actually eat the owl yet. I mean, it would have had to have been... Let's say it's five years after that, then that upload... That's it might have been right there. Five it might, maybe it was right Five then. years after what? Them on the wall there? Yeah. Why? Like There's nothing years? saying that it can't be longer. Other than because the owl saying, seen it yet, right? like, his have time we, was almost up. I mean, yeah, he said his time was almost up. Yeah. And then... I mean, what else are they going to do for five years on the island? I don't know, but we didn't see it happen, right? Mm. All right. Yeah. Yes? Yes. So we don't know exactly when, right? now, Because I could say, yeah, it could be, thir you know, at the most thir 13 years or 14. I don't know what happened a year, you know, if it happened a year after or whatever. I'm just yeah. saying we don't know that information. But it's not 50. No, it's definitely not 50. So they just roam the island for a year? Good. I don't know, Aaron. It could be something else. They could do something. All right. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> huh? Um, they could do something. I don't know. We have no idea. Yeah, but I mean, there's nothing on the island to do for a year. Sure. I, I imagine. But in, got in, that in the face there. of I don't know, we can't say, yes, it did happen then. It probably I would say with 90% certainty, yes, it did happen there. Okay. Well, Given the fact you're... that Grisha has no hands mm -hmm. and the owl says that he's almost at his, the end of his rope there. I would imagine that he got that power there, made his okay. way to the wall, and then made his way inside of uh, Walmart. Maybe. Yeah. The scouts... Does it seem weird that the scouts were a thing at all? Like, given what we know, what the king knew? I feel like I would not want a military branch that went out investigating beyond the wall. I mean, it worked really, really well, though. Until this recent batch of scouts, like for a hundred years or whatever, they've gone out, 90% of them get... Killed. Well, did they have scouts for 100 years? Like, had, for the whole time the wall's been up, did they have scouts and stuff? Or They've had them for a while. Uh, They've yeah. been tremendous failures and have only reinforced the fact that we can never leave this place. Yeah. I just feel like it's a. it would be a rough idea to, like, even work on scouting out and going outside the wall because if you're wanting to keep everyone there, believe in you. Yeah, yeah that was there. part of the conspiracy at first, right? Like, was to make sure that they didn't get too powerful. Yeah, I, I, right? I think, that's, I think Rick's who, right. Who's powerful? Like, the scouts. They had, I mean, the scouts can never grow to the point where they were kicking too much ass, right? But now, I, well, I mean, that's the thing. When, when they released that information to the public, I actually thought, you know, it was going to be a mixed bag, but I thought, like, some people might be inspired and, like, join the military and join the scouts, you know? Yeah, which now makes sense because they're trying to explore out there. They were trying to find the sea. They're trying to figure out what's beyond the wall and whatnot. But, like, just from, like, the king's pr perspective and the royal family, and you're wanting to keep everyone inside your walls. Yeah. I feel like you'd want to entice less exploration beyond the wall as a whole. Yeah. Right? I was just think about that whenever they said about, like, you know, after the you know, flowers started to bloom and stuff, yeah. the scouts began to explore again further than they ever had before. And I was like, man, why'd they send them out to begin with? <laughs> now it's time to sign up for the Army, man. Peace time. Yeah. You gotta get that free tuition. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Now's the time. I think Rick's right. I think that it was... Uh, you know, because they're always going to have these people, those people having questions like, why don't we go further? And if you have, well, these these guys are supposed to, and they fail all the time. They suck. Obviously, no one else should even try. I think that's what, like, what's what the mm -hmm. they, that was for. And you're going to have those people that want to. So you put them in the scouts, and then you have yeah. control over them. You can send them on suicide missions, or you can have Kenny kill them if they know too much. But where he fucked up is that they killed Irwin's dad. And then he created that awesome formation thing that made him go out further than they ever been. Yeah. You know? And they got two Ackermans on their side. They do. Yeah. That's what caused the downfall. And a Titan. It helped a little. I'm going to say, without Aaron, like, I don't know if they would have been as successful as they were, you know? Mm-hmm. I really love when I found the ocean. They, you know, they don't know anything about salt water. Yeah. Like, oh, we can salt it! <laughs> <laughs> <In> my eyes! <laughs> it's cool to see Levi... You know, amazed. Well, I like that all of them, like, had off, like, shoes and stuff, staying in the water. Levi's just staying on the beach, fully dressed. Didn't take anything off. It's like, it could be poisonous. You know? Like, <laughs> Don't touch it. Imagine you make it all the way there. You're in the water for the first time. You get stung by a jellyfish. You die or something. <laughs> like, like, a yeah. poisonous jellyfish just kills you. Like, they don't oh, even know to pee on it. <laughs> you don't. Don't you do don't that. <laughs> But it, it, maybe Aaron would because of his memories, and he started doing, like, what are you doing? Are you mad at Because <laughs> he would hear it, like, I... These superstitious, yeah. like, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. That's kind of funny to think about. So speaking of memories, like, we saw back with the owl again of him saying, like, take care of Armin, Mikasa, and Aaron. Mm -hmm. 
does that confirm then that that wasn't Aaron projecting it and that he could somehow see the future? <laughs> no, no, no confirmation. Yeah, there's no confirmation. I don't anything. think. Why, I mean, why when he it? said, "I don't know," I don't know what memory it was. He doesn't. He doesn't even know it means a future memory. He could think it was a past memory. He doesn't know anything about. Yeah, but it couldn't uh, have been a past memory. Yeah, it couldn't have been. Why not? Because, because those they, people weren't alive yet. Yeah. I mean, was well, there, no, was I mean, there, was there a Ymir in the past? And is there a Ymir yeah, in the future? I mean, like, he, there could be names of the people in the past he has no idea about, and it just like kind of flashed, and he yeah. was like, "What the hell was that?" So I don't he, know. I get memories he, of people that I'm not talking about all the time. I'm people just saying that we don't know. If he'd have said there, if he'd have said to him there, like, "You got to save Ymir." Grisha there would be like, Ymir, like, God, lady, she's dead, she'd be dead forever, but maybe it means a future Ymir thing, like, Mikasa and Armin could be a future thing. We don't know what that memory yeah, is. I think it has to, yeah, where it's I from, don't think or why. Mikasa and Armin aren't a Mikasa and Armin that we don't know how well, to well, see, whatever. We're not talking no. about what it is, we're talking about what the owl believes. When he said, ah, oh, it's a memory, he could be thinking that, and incorrectly thinking that it's a memory that he doesn't recognize from someone in his past. It could or from be. a thing yeah. in his past. And it, it could still be. Yeah, but yeah I, I know he doesn't know exactly that's what, what we're saying. Well, yeah, about. I don't think there's any confirmation that it of whose memory it is and who's saying it or why. Yeah. yeah. Is, is, is it just out. seems weird that it didn't come back to Aaron this time like Wait. it did before. What do you mean? Well, before he was having that, that memory mm -hmm. and it cut to Aaron having the memory. But this time it was just like here's the past. I mean, and, and it didn't connect it to Aaron. Wasn't it the same shot that we had? Like it was just a little longer. It was a little longer, and it didn't cut to Aaron, like directly having the memory. Did it say Aaron last time too, or did it just say Mikasa and Armin? I don't remember. I don't remember him saying. It said Aaron, Aaron this time. Yeah, it did. That's why it was like a little bit longer. But I think it last time it didn't say Aaron. But he could still just have the thought that that was just something that maybe you're misremembering something because they're not your memories and you're blending. I don't know. But, uh, I mean, he could investigate that more, but he's also, he also is trying to, like, pick and choose what he should and shouldn't say. Too. Sure. But, like, you know, it, it seems like our heroes have a huge disadvantage in terms of, like, this future war. But if Aaron can somehow see the future... Yeah. That would be huge. But can he change it? True. No, I don't think he can, because those are experiences that... So far, when like uh, the attack time, that guy, uh, when he re when he recalled memories, they were of our few of our present that are happening. You know what I mean? So what they need to so do is they need to sneak in and get like a revolt going. Get some of their like engineers and of their people in the new land and like bring weapons back. You don't even need a revolt. You can go over there and find more patriots and just say, hey, motherfucker, we're over here. We know what's up. Come join us. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah, right now, they literally just need to scout. I would make sure I would send some, I would have some scouts scouting that area at all times. They sent the scouts. So, like, every time they would... There's only nine of them. I don't get more. And at least three of them you what? can't send. Peace time, baby. It's when you join. No, don't get more. <laughs> I mean, you know, they did talk about some people aren't believing the stories and stuff, but some people are, and they will sign up, I think. And they can start bringing people to the sea. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, look, see this. ODM, ODM, like, imagine, wave runners and stuff. It'd be great. Can you imagine the Marlins came there and there's a bunch of people just on the beach chilling? <laughs> like, fucking families, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, what? The big Titan, like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they need to have some kind of, like, defenses, though, for that. Like, find any parts that, like, beach or uh, boats can, like, dock on or beat, like... Send troops on, and then make sure you have something there, or at least a tower to to be able to watch. You know. Yeah. Well, I mean, like. What does turn? When they send people, patriots over there, just like right before you inject them, fucking kill all those guys and see what you know. what I mean, and because they're patriots being executed or not being executed, but being turned into titans, like you can just maybe they're engineers or important people, like you said, because the original attack titan before he gave the power to Grisha did that anyways. You know what I mean. So maybe he can do that, kill all those guys, destroy the boat, and maybe it won't be investigated because it wasn't investigated back then. And save them before they turn into titans. And keep the boat. So you have a boat. Well, you, or you do that, yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> <laughs> they need to do that. I expect that. It's a good idea. So you want them to do what? Kill all the people on a boat? No, like when they sail over to convert all the patriots, you know. Yeah, to throw them over the wall. Yeah. Yeah. Um... Inter like intervene right before that happen. Like intervene when that happens, and get all those guys. Maybe they're important people who are knowledgeable of everything over there, so you can learn a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Kill all the fucking Marlians, 
Yeah. And take their boat. Yeah, and I think that sounds like a good plan. It's a good plan. The reason why I say that is because the guy, whoever his name was, who gave the power to Grisha, yeah. he did He did that. His name's Aaron. Yeah. Aaron. You yeah, know. he did that. He did. Except he destroyed the boat. He did destroy that boat. Yeah, I assume they just chalked it up to being lost at sea or something. Yeah. yeah. So, like, just do that again. A couple yeah. times. Those, yeah. guys, those guys were experienced. We do it, like, every year. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't know. I might not want to send too many people right now if they have any knowledge of what's been going on. Also, if they plan on invading, they probably don't want to put more Titans out there, too. Unless the Beast Titan can control yeah. them, I guess. Well, and the other thing, too, is that they've... All the Titans have stopped. Like, they've killed all the Titans. That must mean they're not implementing, you know, they're not producing more Titans. Mm -hmm. Is that because things are going really well over there and they're all listening? Or is well, it because I, they don't want to come over here? Or is it because they're saving them? You know, like, what... We had decades of titans here that haven't been killed. Now, I, I don't. I, I just think they're not producing them at a high rate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like more than we were killing them. I, I, I think what there's probably like a couple, like every couple, few months. You know what I mean? Or a, like I mean, a, it, every year. It has to depend on what happens with them. Because like, yeah. whenever Grisha was there, they had a handful of them because they found a whole little rebel cell. Yeah. You know, and but they, I'm sure, like you said, like it discourages. You know, every time someone's caught. It probably discourages they disappear. for a little bit. Like KGB does. You know what I mean? Except the owl. Yeah, yeah. it's not discouraged at all. Yeah. What do you think of the hitch moment? <sighs> I was sad. I mean. Yeah, yeah. I, I liked it. I, you know, when it was coming to, you know, honoring and memorializing these people that we've lost, it, it did just go into the argument with Flock. You yeah. Know? Like, but I, I liked the hitch moment. I kind of wish I had more of that. A little bit. I understand Flock's perspective. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But it's also, you can't change it. So That's the thing. Go with it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you just don't, you're just discouraging people and kind of bringing up at an inappropriate time. Yeah. Yeah. I kept kind of waiting for Levi to say, like, this is what, this is what, this is what Irvin wanted. Yeah. You know, because he was going to give it to Irvin, and then Irvin stopped him. Mm -hmm. So it's like, it wasn't just, you know, my decision. Is Irvin, that all public also, knowledge, too? This also came from Irvin. The yeah. urban thing? Yeah. I don't know if they've ever mentioned that urban stuff. That's what I'm saying. Like, so. if that's public knowledge, what the hell is that guy talking about? I mean, I don't know if it is. That's what I'm okay. saying. I don't, I don't know. I don't know, but I can't wait for Armin to have his first Ervin moment. Yeah. yeah. I know. To show... That's like, the thing. He needs to prove that it was the right decision. Yeah. You know? Regardless if it was or not, he needs to make it the right decision. Exactly. Fake it till you make it. Exactly. And going into this uncharted territory and stuff, having someone who has a mind like Armin will probably be very useful in, you know, trying to figure out new stuff. Like, he is fairly bright, where Irvin is like, sure, he's a good leader and stuff, but what does he know about, you know, is this, he gonna this be uncharted to, territory that we're going into? Is he going to be able to engineer aircraft or anti-air guns? Or? Yeah, but then, you know, could Armin come up with ideas of, like, how to Because Armin's the one that, change things, you know? that came up with the Titan el el Eliminator, or the Hell Elevator or whatever, right? Um, it was, yeah, might have been Hanji. Yeah, yeah. Was it Hanji? It's one of those two. I mean, Hanji, yeah, I Hanji was... studies the Titans, so that's one benefit that yeah. she has where it's about Titans and stuff. But I mean, know, him, Yeah, him and uh, Aaron and Hanji were, like, tr practicing the armored technique thing, so I think it makes sense that it was Hanji, too. Makes sense. I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it was Armin. I mean, you know, like, when it comes to, like, uh, well, what they do next, you know, who's going to be the, the bright mind to lead the future and stuff like that, like, I, I think that when you're comparing Erwin to Armin... Like, going forward, I mean, they both don't know anything about going forward, so... I mean, who's to say what would be the better leader? But we have one choice now. Yeah, you know? exactly. And, I mean, I agree with Flock in the sense that it was an emotional decision, you know? And I, I, you know, I don't think it's a bad thing because it was emotional. I think it was emotional and a logical thing. Yeah, you know? it was... Yeah. But, I, I mean, I, if... If Armin died and Armin lived, I wouldn't have been like, well, that was the wrong decision. You know, I would have been like, all right, where will we go from here? Because that's our choice now, too, you know? Yeah. I just wish Flock would do something about that puff on his head. Yeah, you know? I can't stand it. Actually, I, kind of I keep doing hair. this now. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, just literally because of his hair. <laughs> it bugs me every time. It's, I'm always looking up at it and being like, if you cut here, here, and here, it look good. So it's been six years since we started the show. And, like... In show time, yes. It's show time. Yeah. And we have answered all of my big questions in terms of, like, you know, when we first, this first five episodes, yeah. like, okay, but I have a whole bunch of new ones, but still, like, I feel like this thing really progressed, you know, that really opened things up. And all the answers are satisfying. They are. They're very satisfying. Speaking it of was literally an ancient evil. 
<laughs> yeah. yeah. An ancient power. We don't know if it's evil or not, but it's that uh, that god or devil that gave you mirror the power. Mm-hmm. But that could just be a creation myth for. I do still wonder she about got the too light math or something. I don't know. She got too much meth and did that. Yeah. <laughs> like that's still one question of mm-hmm. like the truth of the Titan powers and stuff, or what? Yeah. Well, the, that. But like, why do they get struck by lightning in turn? You know. Yeah, well, that's because it's like a deity type, like a godlike uh, thing, I think. A crazy change in pressure. Like, if it's not so, meth, it's, you know. If it's not <laughs> meth, it's... Doesn't real lightning go from the ground up? We just perceive it as going top down? We just need a positive and negative charge. But I think it's the lightning, and then, yeah, yeah it comes from the ground. If you're gra- yeah. You've got to be grounded to get it. So maybe it's just something like that. Maybe there's some kind of charge. I never get shocked when it's not a storm. And know? then the lightning goes from the ground there. I don't know. Versus, like, some Zeus-like character throwing a lightning bolt and hitting them. Make my monster grow! Rita. Yeah. Every time you say that, I have to throw my pen. The, um, the other thing that we kind of learned in this was the vision that Aaron got when he touched Historia's hand was that Grisha... He didn't, he didn't seem to go there strictly to eat the Titan. Yeah, that wasn't the plan. That was it, the backup plan. It felt like he was going there to say, hey, you know, the wall's being attacked. You need to help and save my family. Yeah. Go and kill these Titans. And... I'm assuming they said no. Yeah. And then he's like, all right. I mean, he, he gave him the chance, at the least, right? I mean, he, but he probably went in knowing that it wasn't going to happen. See, before, he, it seemed like he just went in there and was yeah. like, all right, bitches. Yeah. <laughs> Harry Chester. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So this time it kind of gave a little bit more. So he's not, I don't know, it's not as mastermindy yeah. as it seemed originally, I guess, if that's how I want to sure. look at it. What if Aaron had died during that first attack? Because he didn't have the power then, right? No, he didn't. I don't know. Wouldn't have another kid. Giving it to Mikasa, I guess. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that was his backup. Maybe. Maybe. If you become a Titan, Mm -hmm. and you get 13 years, and then you eat another Titan, Mm -hmm. does that reset your 13 years? Mm -hmm. Or are you still in the first 13 years? Probably still in the first. I hope so. I would guess you're still in the first 13 I was wondering, like, if there's, like, a loophole at some point. We get to, like, 13 years, and he's like, oh, you're going to die or something. And he's like, you know what? Boom, bitch. I got another three years. Or maybe <laughs> it, it's, like, 13. He loses the first power. Yeah, so if he loses the first power, maybe. He gets a new one. If Aaron dies... That's, it's a reset, baby, if you ask me. If Aaron dies, does the powers go to separate people that have just been born, or does it go to the same person because it died yeah. the same I'm going to assume separate. Yeah, I would guess. I would assume two. I don't I, can't base it on anything, but it just sounds right. Sounds like the rule. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, uh, I, I mean, they continue with the imagery of the the birds um, in this episode. I really push it this time, but we've always had the the, the birds going over the wall, yeah. and then now they're going over freedom. the sea. It is freedom. Uh, I, I love that. I mean, Armin literally looked up at them and smiled. You know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So I'm I'm glad that we've continued with that. And it does kind of like okay, yeah, that is freedom. Even though I'm in my head, I'm going like, yeah, but we could just hold him. Country islands. It's making a, a paradise, you know, a literal yeah. paradise. But yeah, I do like they continue with the imagery. Yeah, they, they need to go and set their people free. Yeah, they need Moses sit up. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he huh. just parts it. Yeah. <laughs> when Hanji was talking with the journalist, she had a line where it's like, "It's not the truth we were hoping for, but it's what we got." I don't know what they were hoping for and what was better, but I feel like it's not too bad. Like, it's not like we're fighting the devil incarnate and there's no winning, <laughs> you know? It's uh, like we're fighting others like us. I think they were hoping for, okay, there's people out there, and they don't care one way or the other about us. Yeah. Kind of thing, you sure. know? Yeah. <laughs> like, though, though they can help us. Yeah. yeah. I, I feel like in terms of, like, what could have happened, this isn't terrible. No. You know? It's not terrible. What was terrible was... These monsters running around outside. You have no idea where the fuck they're coming from. That's terrible, yeah, you know? Yeah. Now at least you know. And they're all dead. And they're all dead. Except for that for a couple just laying there, you know? Yeah, maybe more of it's the truth of, like, you know, they, they didn't know that it was going to be a whole other civilization sure. that is still in the world, and they're not alone. They're like, oh, we're not alone. Yeah. The people that are still in this world hate they us hate and us. want us to die. Yeah. You know, like, <laughs> it's not the truth we wanted. Like, it, it could be worse, sure, but now they yeah. know they're not alone, and they're hated. Yeah, hated uh-huh. and they're coming for us. So maybe to, it's to more. Steal our oil. Yeah, maybe it's more related to that kind of stuff. That we didn't even know we had. Yeah. And even if we did, we don't know how to use it. What do we do with this stuff? Well, we got glow rocks. Well, they got. They don't <laughs> got shit. They do. <laughs> no, but didn't the glow rocks come from the place where the Titan was? Okay. 
yeah. uh, down under the church. Did we ever see Aaron with long hair before? When there was a, there was a shot when he was at the beach and he was looking up and the sky was in the back, it looked like something we had seen before. It's like, huh? I remember seeing like an older Aaron at one point and being like, he looks weird. We saw him before with like his younger self in the opening. In the last, opening, yeah. But I don't remember, I don't remember him having long hair. In that I seem to remember thinking like there was a shot that we've seen him and I thought, man, he has longer hair there. But maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Probably. I'm probably wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I just had seen it. Was there anything we missed in that last part where it's like, like how the credits and it got real big, mm-hmm. and it just ended? It was just standing in a hall, which it was standing in a hall holding a shell. He's holding a shell. I mean, does it imply they're in, in a hall on the other side of the ocean? Is that like a tease? I don't know. I mean, last tease was fighting on top of rooftops. Oh yeah, and before that, they had like the wall being broken. There's a titan inside. Like what the hell? Yeah. And this time it was kind of like, uh, hey guys, zoom in. Look at this. So I was just like, is there something I didn't notice whenever it got big? (laughs) So I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. Like, it it said that you saw the seashell, and I was like, in my head for a moment, I imagined like lightning cracking, and there's a giant sea crab. (laughs) (laughs) A whale. Yeah, that'd be great. A whale. Yeah, a titan whale flying in the air. Oh, that makes sense. They're finally coming. Wouldn't it be great? They see us, they sail across the ocean. They get this Titan powers to fish and shit. Yeah. They just have an army of like flying whales attacking. Yeah, that's yeah. the ninth Titan that we don't know yet. Is just Aquaman. Aquaman. Yeah. <laughs> be great. great. There was a moment when I don't remember her name. Historia's sister, uh, when Grisha was attacking them, like she had a moment of like her eyes light in that you know kind of crow's nest thing came on her head and she, like it was almost rage mm-hmm. and then it. Softened up, you know? Yeah. It's like uh, maybe like her real feeling about this and then the royal family feeling about it, I guess. Oh, maybe because she had just curious. changed. Well, she had. Before she was wanting to make a difference yeah. and stuff, right? And But the king thing always takes over. So yeah. it I goes, just wonder if that was like the moment it happened where it's like, oh, maybe she will do something. And probably. Then, it probably went from you know. like what her feelings were to being pacified by yeah. the king's power. Yep. So I saw it was well animated, that part. I liked it. And then Grisha ate him. Yeah, and he has the best-looking attack titan, I think. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I don't know why, but, like, something about the, that big, black, hairy chest. It's great. <laughs> it's it's great. Um, um, how long do we have to wait for the next season? Yeah. Like Three years. years. It's you probably going to be a while. Really? Shit. It's probably going to be a while. At least my hero's coming back relatively That's soon. That's true. I mean, I love... This is one of my, if not my favorite animes that I've watched. This is one... This is one Story-wise. Story wise. It's yeah. one, this is one of my favorite reactions I've ever done. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'd say this is in my top five shows ever. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. And I mean, I've, I've loved it the whole way through. I even liked the big, bold black lines in the first season. Though I will admit that the animation quality jumped up in season two. Like, what? Like the Levi Kenne, <laughs> Kenny Fight? anti-personnel in this uh, season. That was just so amazing. Yeah. He killed 12 of them, you know? <laughs> It was mind blowing. Yeah, like I, I, there's so many great moments in the show that I just, you know, it's one of those things where like you'll never have an experience like watching it the first time before again, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Luckily, we recorded ours, or you guys did. Yeah. I came in first. <laughs> Messed it up. I don't have anything else really. Me either. Like a lot of this episode was a lot of just kind of slowing down. So. Yeah. yeah. A little Which bit too, it, a little bit it needed, there. honestly, yeah. before an ending, because it was just hitting you, hitting you, hitting you. I have so many notes from the last two episodes. And it was, it was if you did you felt like you earned it. It wasn't just like an info dump. It was like a reward. Oh yeah, you know, because so. these guys have been through some shit over these yeah. last three seasons. Like damn, mm-hmm. they've lost so much, so much suffering, so many betrayals. I still get the image of Bear told me eaten out of my mind. Yeah, my I wish there was another way, but. And that fucking that big that rice guy. This big slug fucking Titanic Titan. All this junk falling out of this. God, it's just, it's really haunting to me. His face is flat. Now that you know about Titans, do you hate them as much? Uh, Yeah. Now that you know that they're patriots. When they run like this, (laughs) when they're coming, I get to eat me, I'm not going to think about who he used to be before he was something he's not now. You know? Yeah. I just, if it happens, I hope I have a Mika set to protect me, because I ain't doing shit, you know? (laughs) I'm gonna get stuck in some alley and I'm gonna be easily eaten. You just gotta wet yourself and hope you make yourself detasteful to them. It's like someone picking a cherry. <laughs> <laughs> like, no. I think how many people p- piss their pants out before they're ready to get eaten. Doesn't matter. You gotta punch them in the nose like a shark. 
Uh, that doesn't work for sure. No. It does. No, you're supposed to go for the eyes and the gills. Oh. The, the things back here. What's uh? I've we, heard both. You know. I mean, I'm sure. <laughs> I heard a nose is sensitive, but like, I guess underwater you can't you, you, generate enough yeah, force you're not to really be able to punch it. In but the if water. you have keys or something like that, you're supposed to stab them in the eyes or gills. But yeah, hey, the nose is sensitive. Just, in the Arctic, they found a 380 year old shark. Really? Yeah. That's like still alive. It's the or? oldest vertebrate animal ever discovered. Wow. Isn't that fucking crazy? crazy? That thing has been around since we developed so many things. Longer than America. Yeah. Wait, so, it's, so it is still alive? Yeah, yeah. America's yeah. been here, baby. 300 years. Yeah. It's ugly as hell, but yeah, it's a little alive. Uh, really? How do we dog? know? I don't know. I just read it. I assumed it was They counted birthday. the candles on his last that. birthday. <laughs> they probably did. Yeah. <laughs> they counted his rings. I don't know. <laughs> they they count count how do they know? Yeah, yeah, we know we have block of his tortoises. We're not sure how old they are, but we know they're yeah. over 120. But yeah. We're not quite sure. Yeah, I don't know how to... Look. I look at a dog. I don't know how old the dog is. That does, though. I'm saying, I don't know. Yeah. I just randomly was reading these things last night. There's there's a clam that was 900 years old, and then 2006 scientists accidentally opened it too far and it died. Oh, damn it, scientists. Right? Always ruining everything. That's probably why they created Titans. You know? <laughs> <laughs> ruining things. Uh, who's been your favorite, your guys' favorite character throughout the Levi. series? Levi. Levi? Well, I, love, I really like them all, but Lee, I'd have to say Levi, and I actually like yeah. Kenny, too. I really like Kenny. I was going to say Kenny, too. Yeah. Because he's so flawed. He's so evil, but I loved his motivation. But I like Levi. He wanted, he wanted to see if he could get that piece as well. I love Levi because of Kenny. I love Kenny because of Levi. Yeah. So. I really love Sasha. We haven't seen a lot of her no. recently. But her, like, backstory episode was really cool. Mm-hmm. I like Astoria. Yeah. She's this warrior fucking queen. I hope that she gets more to do versus just being, like, the fake yeah, queen. Yeah, I'm sure we will. Like, I want her to be the warrior. Yeah, be the warrior queen. Be the Men Thay. Non. Be the Thay. Walking Thay. arrows. Yeah. I think Aaron is probably my favorite, though. Aaron's great. Why is yeah. Memnon the... Just his bizarre Memnon, he's a warrior king. <laughs> I like Sasha. I like Hanji. Yeah. I like both of them. Or Ainen. Mikas is cool. Dragon. And I like a lot of them. Yeah. I don't know if I have... Can't think of any I don't like except for Flock. Flock, man. Flock, the fucking, fucking, fucking flock. Fucking flock. flock out of here. Yeah. And the guy that, uh, Zachary. Zachary? Not a big fan of Zachary. What is that again? Zachary. <laughs> He's Wait, the guy the that's with the beaten butt? Yeah, the guy that's... The, the butt feeder. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Now I like him. He's a good guy. I liked him when we first met him. Whenever he was the judge for Aaron and Levi beat the shit out of Aaron. See? He's not gonna be bad, you know? I liked him then. Premier Zachary. And then he's Pixis. Pixis is cool. Like Pixis is great. Yeah, Pixis is I like awesome. Pixis in this uh, one. Honest, where he's like, I'm like not going to do the same honest. thing. Yeah. I liked him. Pistoria. Legal Reeves. Love him. Legal. <laughs> Love that guy. <laughs> Legal Reeves. The fat guy. The reporter. The merchant son. son. Oh, the merchant son. Merchant son, yeah. Son, yeah. <laughs> You're not gonna do this. He's a coward, but he did something brave later on. Uh, he, he, he did. He came for it. So that's he, always cool. Hanji had that Batman moment. Yeah. She came down from the from the alley. I loved it. We've only really known him for the last few episodes, yeah. but Grisha. Grisha. Yes, Damn it. I was, well. I was like, I was like, Kruger. I'm, I don't, I'm not going to interrupt Rick, but I'm going to say Grisha after what he says. Grisha is cool. And you said her is cool. Yeah. Aaron? Aaron is cool. I like it. It's cool to have a no show where you like no so many things. and dislike so few. Like Lost, you know, it's a mm-hmm. thing that reminds me of it. Just this big mm-hmm. ensemble people that you, and you like a lot of them, yeah. you know? We are on that. It's like a it's huge. It's like Australia. Levi squad, the first squad was cool too. All the ones that died. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah so yeah. many people have passed away yeah. in this. And then Erwin. Erwin has the best speech, and I've never had a better speech of a character. Independence Day. It yeah, beats it. <laughs> I mean, one guy sacrificed himself. Erwin did a speech, and a thousand guys sacrificed himself. <laughs> yeah, he did. And one of them is regretting that he's not alive, so he can sacrifice himself for him again. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a great show. Right. It's got great music, got great visuals. You yes. know what? I was just gonna say, like, I know a lot of people in the comments and all that stuff always say, like, oh, you guys are watching dub, that's why it's inferior, but I've never had a moment in watching this show. And granted, I've never seen this sub, so I have nothing to compare it to. I've never had a moment where I'm like, well, that's inferior voice acting. You know? I feel like I can tell you I feel like I can tell you exactly what every character, how they feel, how they act, why they do what they do. Yeah. And you can compare that to anything else. And I, I have conversations with sub people all the time, and I know we're like, oh, yeah, you guys messed that up, you know? Yeah. So I, I've really enjoyed the voice cast, especially no, yeah. Irvin and Levi. Levi's great. Yeah. 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 Kenny. His Kenny, voice. Kenny had some great moments, too. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, we all got a master. Women. Drink. <laughs> you know, it's so good. But, yeah. 
All right. Well, guys, we, it's all. That's it. And we're done. Yeah. But I would be, just want to be more. talking because we have to let it go for like a yeah. year. There'll be more. So make sure you guys subscribe so you don't miss out whenever it comes back because we'll be reacting to it then. Um, it's been a lot of fun. And keep an eye out for more uh, Attack on Titan and other anime that we're going to get. Because it's My Hero Academia and more yeah. things coming too. One so. Punch Man Season 2 will be dubbed eventually. Mm. Yes. So we'll have some more anime and stuff. But make sure you guys subscribe. Don't miss out. That's it. I can't reach that far on my back. And there's a the subscribe button. Hit it right there. Make sure you guys check out over at Patreon. We can see full length available for all of the Attack on Titans. And uh, make sure you guys watch the reaction because it was down in the description yeah. if you didn't see it. Because we just talked about it here. It was a great episode. Some great episodes these last few episodes. If you want to see great. what Meth really does, check out their Breaking Bad reaction. There you go. Very sure. Good. Go to Vine.net, check out a store. As well. Like 27. Wavecon's past. 27. <laughs> going too long.